Just the oh, dust. The scorpion. Where? Ah. Right by your, uh, right by you. Stop, oh, honey. Trying to organize this shed is a ton of work. So I've been drawing out exactly how I want to organize this and where I want to put, I know I want to put my camping stuff in the back and I know I want to put the tools on this side. I know I need to lift the, leave this side open for some, oh, somebody's at the door. Who could it be? Why, hello. Back. They're back. Heaviness. All right, family is back from their homeschooling day out at the homeschool co-op, and so apparently they have a bunch of stuff. And on Thursdays, they're gone pretty much all day with Kevin. So Kevin goes out and he runs errands for me, and he goes to the store, and he just told me that he went to Sprouts, and the manager there, um, recognized him from our channel and so we've been sitting laughing about that <laughs> I don't know why it's just like weird you know but it's cool um, so we were laughing that that Sprouts is gonna give us free stuff now because we sure as heck go there a lot so okay so over in this area here we're excited because it's time to start planting I've got a little bit of time on some of the other things I think corn I could wait a week or sorry for the carrots, I can wait about a week, but for the corn, we're gonna do that today before dinner when it starts to get a little bit cooler. We're gonna start on this row here. So we're gonna do corn on this row here. We're gonna probably do carrots here. And then we'll do a ton of onions and garlic. And then we'll do a little bit of, we'll also start some cucumbers. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Cucumbers, and I think I'm gonna start a, a yellow squash. We've got just like one more week to do a cucumber or a squash. So I'm gonna try another round of it and see if I have more success this last round. It'll be the last little summer thing. How you doing, huh? Huh? Oh, goat breath. My two favorite goats right here, you guys. This is why I love Nigerians. They're my favorite. Huh. So, good news, next week we're gonna find out if these girls are pregnant, so that'll be a fun thing. We'll get to see if they are pregnant and then when they're due. So that'll be fun. Tilly, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? These are what the chickens do every day. So any dirt they find, they take a little dust bath in it. So it rained last night. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect for planting. I'll tell you what. Nice and loamy. Perfect. I can just go like that and put a little kernel of corn in all along this row here. So Kevin, so Kevin helped me yesterday and we put wood chips all along this pathway here, which is really nice because hopefully we can keep the weeds out. And the next thing will be just to put the wood chips down each row. And then eventually we'll put the wood chips around this, the plants as we have this more filled up with plants. There they are, just playing in the dirt. Mabel's hanging out in the tire. So these tiles here, they're going to be used for the shed. So we'll be able to use these over there on the shed. And yeah, it's just kind of a slow but sure process of organizing all of our stuff and all of our farm equipment. All right, I have to show tonight's dinner because it's pretty epic, you guys. So, cut up one of our chickens, and so I'm making some fried chicken. This is my little splash guard here. Almost done with that. This is just a gluten-free mix that I use to coat the chicken. And then, we've got mashed potatoes and gravy and the green beans. So, it's a southern dish tonight. My grandma would be proud. Well, you know why I made that good dinner, right? Because I need to bribe my family. 
Guys, I need to bribe them to plant all my corn for me. So, that's what we're gonna do. Okay guys, so, we're gonna do just this very back row right here. And I'm gonna each give you a bag. And, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we do like one here Three rows, and one two rows? Here? I think we should do two rows because they're... I sometimes prefer to plant them closer together and then if we need to pull some, if some don't germinate, that kind of gives us a better shot. Thoughts? Yeah. Think so. Okay, so here's your bags. Try not to spill them. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna each take a third of the row. Let's get some sticks and figure out who gets what. There's one stick, two sticks. You just need could to. Could you pop these as popcorn? Yeah, you could probably. Okay, are you ready? Let's divide it into three sections. So Ethan has the end. I can have the other end. And Lydia has the other end and I'll be in the middle, okay? All right. So you so, show us what the Yeah, tip. how far apart and stuff. How so I'm apart. thinking I want to do three rows all the way across. So you can put one, you know, right here and then maybe right here and then maybe right here, okay? So three rows. Right. They don't have to be perfect though. I'm just saying like about that far apart. And then when you scoot over to the next place, I want you to do like only four inches over, not six inches. Got it? Like that. Humidity's getting us, so <sighs> that was harder than I thought, and that only took like 10 minutes. So, oh my gosh. But we've got the corn planted, we've got um, bird netting over it, so now we just wait. I was reading for the planting dates in Arizona, and I realized I can plant um, a lot more in September, so I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer, but I had to get the corn in. And tomorrow I have to do the cucumber and the squash. But other than that, I think we're good. Cool part is I can just stand right here. And I should be able to reach from right here over the fence. Look at my man, he came with some wood chips. Go put it down that middle path a little bit. So just down the three rows and then that middle one, plastic to make sure it dies. Okay, nice workout after dinner. Sounds like the goats are ready to be milked. Wanna come look at the shed with me? Okay. Let's go look at it. I cannot wait. Look at all this junk. We've got, you walk in here. Got the door. There's the window. It's gonna be nice. Provide lots of light. Nice. That's perfect. All right. We're gonna go rest inside and then we'll be back out for milking time. It's even in milking time. So, time to head out here. It's Ethan's turn to milk, Lydia's turn to do dishes. Kevin and I are gonna fill these grain bins, or at least just the one grain bin that I got. Go, Luna, go! <laughs> she did it, good job. Hey, I saw that. I missed. I saw that! I missed. You threw the wipey! I, I have solved the wipey problem. 
It's because they try to throw it. So we need something that's right next to you guys then, like a garbage can that you can... What if we put the garbage right over this fence, on this side of the fence, and you guys just uh, dumped it in there? Just the oh, dust. The scorpion. Where? Ah. Right by your, uh, right by you. Stop, oh, honey. Bag. Stop, bag. Kevin. It's on you now, probably. Crawling towards you. Okay. Ah. It's on which bag? This one. That bag. It's on the other side. When you turned it around, it was on that side. Oh my gosh. I think I need to go get the uh, scorpion light, so we can see him. You want me to go get it? Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. You've never even been stung, so you don't even know how bad it hurt. See, I've been stung by a scorpion before. I was stung like eight years ago and it really, really hurts. And it's not really uh, life-threatening unless you're a little kid, like a toddler or baby, but for adults it just hurts like hell for about three days. How you doing? Me? Yeah. Just trying to not get killed by scorpions out there. Really? How many? Mm -hmm. Dad just isn't worried about it. Okay, I have a scorpion light. This is a black light. And when you shine it on scorpions, they glow. So we're gonna see how many of them are out there. Now, normally scorpions run away when you stamp around and walk around and stuff. So when we go out to milk, the kids kind of know if they just just walk around, the scorpions will kind of scatter, kind of like roaches, but they can still be under bags of feed and stuff. Woo, so that's something crawling up. Well, that's a cricket. Yeah. You sure it was a, you sure, sure it was a scorpion? It was like flat against the bag. It probably scurried away. I don't see it, it's not anywhere on the bag. You're it's good to, you're good to go with this bag. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, it's right there, it's crawl. it just crawled right there. See it, see it? Got yeah, it. Right. <laughs> You're right, Ethan. Sharp eye for yeah, you do. Okay, got it. Okay, crisis averted. So that held three bags? It could probably hold a fourth, right? Oops, sorry, I'm in the way, Luna. I don't need to eat a bag. All right. Oops, yeah. see you later. Think you can put one more bag in there? Uh, maybe. And then we could yeah. also um, probably fill this one. Yep, look. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah. Shoot. It just crawled away, you didn't see it? Uh -uh. It wasn't that cricket, it was that guy. See him right there? Okay. He's in there. Oh, yeah, so you can see is. it on camera really easily. Okay. See how green they they uh, light up? That's crazy, yeah, get a stick and just stab him. And I can't see the light either. I think you got, got him. him. All right, is it Penny's turn? Yep. Yeah. Oh, hi, Penny. She wants some the rain. There's no holes in the bag, so no rats have uh, yeah. chewed through it yet. All right, I think we're good. Everything is locked up and sealed, except for this chaffe, which I'm not sure rats would eat, so. All right, so Kevin decided to just put this food on there and try to catch one without even super gluing it or anything, but we'll see. If it's off, if it's gone off tomorrow, then we'll then we'll do the super glue method. Got it? Don't get bit by a scorpion. By a scorpion under there. You can get that right. No. All right, guys, that's it for the night. That was our adventure. And tomorrow, who knows what awaits. Good night. Night.